he's not upset that we're late. I said we'd be here around 9. It's 9.15. That's around 9. Thought you hated chasing headlines. Remind me again why we're interviewing this guy? His latest poem caused some controversy. Randy wants to get the scoop before the Detroit News does. But you think he's gonna tell you the truth? Mr. Presley, sorry we're late. The traffic was a state. May we come in? Mr. Presley, this is Belle. She'll be transcribing our conversation today. Wouldn't it be easier just to record? No offense, Belle. None taken. If I record this, I'll have to write it all out again later anyway. Belle here saves me the trouble. But then, how will you ensure the credibility of this interview? People trust the Detroit Free Press, Mr. Presley. A valid reason to keep a backup, don't you think? Who's interviewing whom? Touche. Do you smoke? Only when I'm nervous. You know, Mr. Presley, when we spoke on the phone, I imagined you to be... Taller. Older. Let's conclude the introductions. My name's Lewis. Thank you for agreeing to this interview. It's an honor to finally meet the man behind the words. Ditto. Most know me as Alden Presley, though my mama calls me Al. I'm a poet. Don't I know it? Your latest poem's causing quite the buzz. Seems everyone's trying to figure out who it's about. No harm in a little mystery. No harm in solving one either. What got you into poetry? A poem. Dudley Randall's The Profile on the Pillow. I read it back when I was at Wayne State, and it left quite the impact on me. Could you elaborate? Are you familiar with the poem? Yes. Perhaps you will cease to love me, or we may be consumed in the Holocaust. But I keep, against the ice and the fire, the memory of your profile on the pillow. So you have read it. I interviewed Dudley when he wrote Ballad of Birmingham. Felt obligated to follow up. It saddens me that he had to sell Broadside Press. I know how much he loved that company. I'm sure it saddened you too. Broadside Press is the only reason I ever got published. I owe Dudley for that. How fortunate you are then to have worked with him. Considering he's the reason you put pen to paper. Dudley is not the reason I write. He simply showed me how. Then what is the reason you write? Recent This is a delicious cup of tea. 
It must be Caribbean. You had an exceptional palate. Puerto Rico? Close. Barbados. Bridgetown to be specific. You've been to the islands? I did some foreign correspondence work in Guadalupe. Political or economic? Neither. I was just interviewing the locals. I thought city journalists like you only care about the big stories. Well, they pay the bills, that's for sure. But it's the smaller stories that I thrive on. They're like finding hidden gems. You never know what you're going to get. So you became a journalist because you like stories? No, I became a journalist because I like the truth. And what truth does one find in Guadalupe? That the tea's delicious. But the coffee's better. Do you have any Barbadian ancestry? My mother. She used to make this tea all the time. Convinced it would heal anything. Ah, uh, the famed Caribbean bush teas. She must have impeccable health. She didn't. Cancer. My apologies. No need. It's good tea. Was this recent? Six months ago. I can only imagine how you must feel. Have you lost your mother? No, thankfully. Then it's not something you can imagine. Touché. Did she inspire any of your poetry? My writing isn't that honest yet. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable, Mr. Presley. It's just, uh, I've read three of your poems. Stop the Record, I Need to Find My Feet, followed by You're So Gloom, and now your latest one, Do I Have to Learn the Truth? And they all seem to have one thing in common. Good writing? A woman. Hold that thought, Mr. Presley. Uh, I need to load a new page, but while I have my soapbox, that was a far-up cup of tea. Right on. So, if the woman you write about isn't your mother, is she a lover? How very Freudian of you. Next question, please. So she's a secret woman. What? Is she a mistress? Excuse me? Or is she the one that got away? Where are you going with this? I just want to know who she is. I'm afraid it's not for discussion. I'm happy to guess the name. And I'm happy to conclude this interview. Why don't you want to tell me her name? Because it's none of your business. Look, Mr. Presley, I'm writing about you, and what the people want to know is who you're writing about. I don't give a damn what the people want. I'm not going to discuss this further. Did she hurt you, Alden? Is that why you don't Stop. want to come here? It's a simple question. I'm not going to tell you who she is. Well, look, you've got to give me the load out here, because right now, all I've got to write about is a dead mother and sentimental tea. I, um... Uh, I think we're done here. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I hope you enjoyed your tea. It was exquisite. Thank you. We'll see ourselves out. I told security to throw you out by nine. If you want right overtime, you do it at home. Good night to you too, Randy. Good night, Lewis. We can't win them all. Go home to her, okay?
Free Press, Lewis speaking. Good evening, Lewis. Alden. It's good to hear from you. To what do I, to what do I owe the call? I'm ready to answer your question now. Which one? You want to know the reason why, right? Yes. Be honest, Lewis. I envy that. And you were right. I hurt her. And that's why I write. My poems, they're not about her. They're for her. Noted, but why tell me now? Because you care about the truth. And the truth is... She wants nothing to do with me. I'm hoping this will get her attention. And whose attention exactly are you trying to get, Mr. Presley? Her name is... See how you feel